really good. Oh God. All right guys, and we are back with another update, finally. It's been about a few months since I had the last update. I wasn't lucky enough to get 10.69 or 10.69.1, but now we have 10.69.2. So let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna run this usual route that I do with all my other videos, so let's get into it. like it was flying up to that stop sign also I have it on assertive this time so let's see how much more different that is previous updates the last one actually drove over the center part so let's see if this one yeah. so no issue still with the turning signal if I was going straight through it should show me the turning signal going left because if it shows me going right in the roundabout somebody can think that I'm turning that first turn and they'll pull out so the turning signal is still slightly off from what it should be though Coming up to the second roundabout, let's see how this does. Not really anybody in the roundabout, no, there's a truck, it's going. I mean, that time the charging signal was correct, so that was good. But yeah, no issues with there. Um, I'm actually curious moving out to Las Vegas here next month. So we're gonna be doing a lot of full self-drive videos on the Vegas Strip. So I'm definitely curious how the full self-drive will do in like a really like big city like that. stop sign we got a few trucks coming let's see if it all right yeah. Yeah. I mean, no issues there yep yeah, now we're coming up to our first this is going to be the unprotected left that we have. I actually got into that turning like very smoothly. In the past videos, it's either like it's almost past it and then turn like last minute into this lane. So, so far, 10.69 is killing it. Opted for the furthest lane this time. I mean, I've never actually seen it do that. It always hugs it and wants to go into the left hand lane. So, this is literally the first time it's ever gone that wide and got to the right hand lane. So, I didn't have any issues though. That was pretty good. I know in previous updates, like it favors the left side of the road. So, I'm curious if that's updated fix is why it shows the right side or what all right let's see so previous videos again it's kind of struggled sometimes with this center lane turn so let's see how 1069.2 handles this. 
especially we have cars coming this time too, so I'm hoping That was actually really good. Oh God. Well, full self drive, I guess, isn't ready for parking lot still. That's actually the first time I've had to take it in or take control over it in a parking lot loop. Usually it's actually done pretty good in parking lots. So I don't know why it favored that curb, but it did, so. Let's see if we can go ahead and get back now. All right, let's head back now. I'm curious if we can, obviously it wasn't able to get me through the parking lot. We'll see if we can take me out of the parking lot. Heck yeah, that was way better than when, it, when we came in. Stops. And report that it was there's no cars coming or anything it was going to be a smooth turn onto the road and then it just kind of wanted to almost stop midway in the turn so this is where i'm really curious what it's going to do so every single update it jumps into the left hand lane even though i need to turn right in 0.5 it's done in every single update so i'm curious if 1069.2 will just keep me in the lane i need to be for the turn or usually at 0.3 yep so there it goes so at 0.3 on every single update it's wanted to get to this left hand lane and then at 0.1 it'll jump back right before the right turn hey, there we go i don't know why it does that i don't know there's something that can be fixed with that, but yeah. All right, let's see if it, yep, there it goes. That's exactly when I would have jumped it. That had a little bit of issues. Um, I don't think in any of the previous updates I've had an issue with that turn. There's been one update where it actually just drove right past the turn and never even took it. Um, this time it felt like it was like flying up to it and then it kind of had to brake harder and then it was just got Yep, and we're coming back up to the roundabout again, so let's see if we can handle it perfect on the way in or on the way out, so let's see if we can do it this time. This time it went for a full stop. Uh, uh. Alright, I don't know what that was. It was going fine, and then it just, once that truck was coming up, it just lost its mind and got really confused, but it's fine. And overall, I think for me, it was a huge improvement, especially because I didn't, like I said, I didn't get 10.69 or 1069.1. I had the update from like three or four months ago. So from that update to 1069.2, I think it's a huge upgrade. I didn't have really any that big of issues with anything. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do some more tests with it. Me and my buddy are gonna go out. He's got a Tesla Model Y, and we're gonna run the same route, both on 1069.2, just to see how, if they react any differently or not. Let's see how this roundabout does. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, good to go. But if you want more full self-drive content, make sure you have, go ahead and subscribe, smash that like button, comment down below what you want to see. And like I said, I'm going to be moving to Vegas here soon. So be on the lookout for some full self-drive videos in Vegas, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.